Good evening everybody. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Lumber Tycoon 2. As you can see behind me, I set up a little demo. Uh, it's a little three-door bridge right here just to show as an example. Um, as you can see, it even though it really doesn't go anywhere, it does work. If I can hit E, see? All three doors go down, all three doors go back up. So it is a working door. And it's just here for the purposes of showing you how to do something. And that is, as the title said, how to make steps. Um, a little background on the story here. If you saw my videos, my my recent ones, I did a video on a palm bridge, which contained steps built into it. And I did a video on... A bridge over to the island in the the, um, the cave river so you can get back there and get uh, the yellow wood at a Tic Tacs memorial and then get it back to your base without drowning and on top of that last night somebody asked me for some help they were working on their own palm bridge and they asked me for some assistance to help them out with their bridge over it with their steps. So I took a look. And don't get me wrong, they did a decent job with the steps. There was a couple of minor flaws in the design, which I um, showed them what needed to be done to correct it. Um, but overall, they did a decent job. Good, good try. Good for a first effort. It was a good try. I'll give them that much. Um... But I figured, why not show you how to do steps on a door bridge? So, let's see if I can get up here. I keep falling. Keep falling. There we go. Okay. So, as you saw before, all three doors were bound together. They all worked. Um, in order to get started, the first thing you need to do is what you would do when you load up and you're working on a bridge. The first thing you need to do is go to the top and open that bottom, the top door. So you go E to open. Obviously the door didn't actually open. But if you go back and check, it says close, which means technically it isn't an open state. It's just held in place by the other doors. So, this door below it, we do an E move and see how the door opens B put back that door now we grab one of these doors can I reach it no nope, I gotta go down for it we gotta get this door into a horizontal laying flat on the ground so let's turn rotate turn rotate come on there we go goes just like that doorknob same direction as all the other ones so you line this up so the edges line up right there e you place it as you can see the doors will overlap ever so slightly so if we go up here and we close this door and do an e move b that should lock this door into the other two doors. So when we go down here and open this door, everything went down together in one piece. You can see that one door right here. So let's get this, whoops. Let's get this back up. Okay, so next step, how do we get the door to work? First thing we need to do is we need to get the door to open downward. And you're going to need the door itself to act as a guide to get the other doors in place. That's why it needs to go downward. So we're going to do an E to open the door from the bottom. Move your mouse away and come back. It'll say close. You can only close a door if it's open. So if it says close, that means it's open and vice versa. So now we take this door and do an E, move and B, now we got the door open that we need open. Let's go down, grab a door. E, and move. 
Let's get this into the right position. Turn. Okay, rotate, rotate. Now this is in the right orientation. Now if we go up here. Now you don't want to put the door here as, as high up as you can. Give it one notch. And you gotta go down just a little. Oops, come on. Sometimes with other things, it's a little hard to get it into position. Like with this pat, this this panel in the way here, this this panel right here, can cause some issues. All right, so let's put this. Put it here for the moment. But that's not the right spot. I just put it there for a place to put it. Let's get rid of this thing for a minute. E, move. I'll put it over here for the moment. Now it should give me the room I need to move this into the right spot. Now you want to put it in this slot here. And I would suggest you go. Let me get myself out of the way. I would suggest you go two units. That right there is one unit. That makes it a little steep. It'll work, but it'll be a little steep. Now, so we'll place that one there. Now, the next one is going to go e pretty much even with a doorknob. And the doorknob gets in the way, so it's going to be hard to get at an exact right spot. But I found a spot that works well, and how to do it is pretty easy. Once you have the door... Try and get the camera as high up and as straight down as you can. Then you can put the door in here and you slide it down as far as possible. Let's see, I think that may be it right there. Um, no, it can go down a little more. Oh, I got that down too far actually. Getting it into this position is pure luck. It's not bad if the door handle is even with the uh, the horizontal door here. Um, 99 times out of 100, you're not going to get that. You're going to end up getting something like this. Where the door handle is just above. And that's fine. That will actually work pretty good. So let's go get one more door. E, move. All right. The third door is pretty easy to get in place. I would say put it right there. And you're basically where you need to be. All right, so let's close this door. Uh, the door didn't close. E, move, B. Now it's closed. Everything at the same time just got bound together. So if we go down here and open this door. E. Now we have a little bridge with a couple of steps. Try, oh, there we go. I didn't fall off. Now just to prove... That you don't have to jump. If I just push up, I climb up them. I just push forward and I go right up them. It's not the smoothest thing in the world, but it gets you up there. Because uh, if you have to jump going upstairs or up, up anything, and you got a big tree you're carrying, and you jump, there's a chance you can drop the tree. If you don't jump, you're much better off. So that's how we do the set of doors. Um... Got to open this one, lock this piece in place, close this one, open this one, lay these three pieces in, and then you would repeat. So now I want to continue. I'm going to have to get this door to open to my right to put everything in place. So, what I'll do, whoops, didn't want to fall off. What I'll do is I'll put this thing back where it was. Come on. E. Move. Come on. All 
Uh, sometimes it's easy to pull teeth and just to get this thing to line up. All right, I'll do it like this. I'll put it there. That'll get me far enough out to get to the... So like I said, this door needs to open to the right. So we're going to do an E to open the door. And then we have to move the horizontal one, which is the one that's keeping it locked in place. E, move, B. And then we start with the next horizontal door up here. I can't actually build it because, as you can see, I'm hanging off the end of the base. And you can only build on your base. So keep that in mind when you're building doors to build a way so you have room over your base. Like if you look up here. All of this is hanging over my base, and this where these yellow tiles are up here. That's actually this very edge of my base right here. So even if I needed to build out any further, I couldn't because I ran out of space. And that's what happened here. I can't build out any further because I can't put a piece here because I'm hanging off the base. But once you get this door open, you can put in more vertical. You can put in the horizontal. Close this. Open the horizontal downward and then put in the vertical so basically what you're doing is interlocking this piece up here and then bringing these verticals in here along here 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 and here and then interlocking and then you're just going to repeat and repeat and repeat and eventually you'll get down low enough in this case it will be to reach the ground but that's how you'd build these doors. Oh, is this an example of one of the ones I have problems with? Yeah. This is a perfect example. Sometimes you build these things and you get this problem right here where you cannot close the door. The button, you know, just nothing. I mean, I am right on top of this thing and I'm getting nothing. I can't even do an E move. What you need to do is you need to get down to the hinge area right here. You see where I'm at? Once I move too far right out of the hinge area, I lose the door. That's basically because the server thinks the door is this way, closed. The client thinks the door is open, and the only common area is right at the hinge. So we're going to do an E. I'm going to do a move. I'm going to get out of the way, and then I'm going to do a B. Now my door is back in place where I want it to be. I just got to go up here and do an E and close it. So that's how we build it. That's the little glitch that I found out about having to grab it by the hinge because it just doesn't not seen otherwise. That's it. That's your stairs. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you find me around and you ask me if I have the time, I will be glad to help you at least get started with it. And show you how to do it. And. You know. Obviously I'll reference this video. And have you watch it. But that's pretty much how you do it. You just put a vertical. As you build up vertically. Once you want to go down. You got to go horizontal and out. Horizontal and up. Horizontal and up. So in this case horizontal is up here. And then up. And then the next horizontal will be all the way at the top of the screen. But yeah, as you build out, you'll get lower and lower. And I got somebody else on my base. Goodbye. I hate when people come in and are not on, not invited. But that's the deal, guys. That's how you build your bridge, your um, your stairs. Do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe. Set your alerts. All that other good stuff. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I think that's about it. Alright guys, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, set your alerts, and have a great evening out there. Goodbye.